In this video, I'm going to show you how to sign up for a Buzzsprout account and how to set up your podcast for the very first time. Start by going to buzzsprout.com and click get started. You're going to fill out your name, your email address, click create podcast, then create a password. And if this is your first podcast, then click I'm a new podcaster. If you already have a podcast and you're thinking of moving it to Buzzsprout, then click I already have a podcast. But for the sake of this video, we're just going to show you what it's like for someone who's starting out. First thing to fill out is your podcast title. This is the name of your podcast. Uh, this will often be the first impression that people will have of your show. So we want to make sure people understand what the show is about and actually attract listeners to your show. If you want some help on picking the right title, we have a complete guide with lots of do's and don'ts listed in the video description. But one thing to remember is that you can always change this. Lots of podcasts rebrand and none of this is set in stone. Next, let's add a podcast description. Your description is kind of like an elevator pitch for your podcast. Two to three sentences long tells people what your podcast is about, who it's for, and what value people will get if they listen to your show. So imagine you're talking to a friend, tell them about the podcast, and just write that out. You don't have to stress this too much. Now click done, let's start podcasting. This is your Buzzsprout dashboard. It's what you're gonna see almost every time, well, actually every time, when you log into your Buzzsprout account. But if you don't wanna see that message at the top, just confirm your email address and that will go away. Now, since this is our setup video, I'm gonna show you a few more things you should look at when you're setting up your account. We'll start on the podcast info page. And you can see there's your title and your description that we filled out earlier. Next, we want to upload some artwork. So we recommend your artwork always be 3000 by 3000 pixels, in either a JPEG or a PNG format. If you don't have artwork yet, I really like using our Canva integration. Canva has a lot of pre-made templates for podcast artwork that you can customize with your own colors and unique branding so that it matches your show. And again, if you want more information, everything really that you need to know about podcast artwork, we have another guide on that down in the description. One of the nice things about this Canva integration is it will always make sure your artwork is in the right format and of the right dimensions. Your podcast category will determine where your podcast is organized inside of podcasting apps. You can pick three of these, but really the first one is the one that matters the most. I always recommend picking a subcategory. Subcategories are the most specific about what the show's about, and they're also less competitive. So you have a better chance of ranking your show and getting more listeners. Language, that's just the primary language your uh, podcast is spoken in. Your time zone is really just used to schedule episodes. So if you ever schedule an episode to go live at 3 p.m., I wanna make sure that that's your 3 p.m. and not mine. Artist should just be the name of the person who creates the podcast. That could be your name, it could be your name plus your co-host's name or it could be the name of your business that's creating this show. And finally, this explicit box. We need to check this if your show is explicit. That means that you have a lot of profanity or adult themes. Just imagine your friend's kid is in the back seat listening to this show. If that makes you uncomfortable, it probably should have the explicit box checked off. Um, but if your show is mostly appropriate, maybe there's just one or two episodes with some heavier adult themes in them, then you can leave this unchecked. We'll just need to remember to check those specific episodes when we upload them later on. Now click save podcast info and we're all done. If you got stuck at any point along this video, go down to the episode description where we have lots of guides walking you through this in much more detail, answering pretty much any question you could have. But if you have more questions, let us know in the comments or reach out at support at Thanks again for watching. Keep podcasting.